what, what are you going to do, Brother Walsh? Well, I, I guess I'll just leave it in there. I can't hardly very easily take it out. I, I, I can't. I'm not good on operating. Praise the Lord. I probably would cut the wrong thing if I did. I'd probably cut my head while I'm But anyhow, Hallelujah. listen to me. Hallelujah. The thing that we need to do is quit letting the devil entangle us into his devices and say, devil, I'm not yours. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. The Bible said, be not, first not to be entangled in this world into the affairs of this world. He said not even entangle ourselves in other men's affairs. Praise the Lord. Now you say, well, Brother Walt, let me tell you something. If you and your wife's having a fight, don't don't call me to to your house till you've got it settled down where you're not gonna jump on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I spend more hours in homes trying to get mom and daddy to straighten out, stop their kids from squalling because they were threatening one another. Hallelujah. But listen to me. Whenever God got it all straightened out, he knows exactly how to do that. He even knows how to take your sins and do away with them this morning. Forgive you. Take away all them blemishes. Praise the Lord. And do something marvelous to you. Are you ready to just turn it all over to Jesus? I've been praying. Hallelujah. People say, yes, for the walls, I'm coming to church. Hallelujah. I called a man and drove up right in this church. And I called him and talked to him. Yeah. I'm coming. I'll, I'll be there soon. I know the all the time he's talking to me, it'll be later than sooner. If he'd have been able to come, he would have said, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll see you this Sunday, or I'll see you Sunday night, or I'll see you. See, don't make excuses, because the excuses will get you in trouble. I aim to. I know what I should. I know what I should do. Then you need to do it. For God. For God. Hallelujah. Make up your mind. I aim to stand for God. Yes. I looked around this morning. I'm going to get in trouble, but I won't say this. I looked around this morning, and I told Sister Wilma, I think I told Sister Martha, I said, well, you know what? We ain't got a lot of people here, but we've got some healthy ones, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see anybody that had missed a meal this morning. That's right. <laughs> Not even me. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said that one. <laughs> Glory to God. What are you saying, Lord? I wonder how healthy we are in the Lord. I wonder how healthy it is down inside of us. I believe a healthy church will be rejoicing in the Lord. Amen. And say, I love you, Jesus, with all my heart. All my mind, all my soul. I believe that will all my heart today. Whenever you know sometimes we sit down, we think about all the all the disappointments we have in life. Hallelujah. But every one of them is a step in its time. When you get through these things, hallelujah, then you look back and say, Lord, I thank you for helping me go the mile I went. Jesus know where you're at today. Don't let him don't let the sun go down on your wrath unrepentant for me. We're glad you're here this morning. Glad for everybody that has come our way.